So I'm going to explain what the starving artist phrase really means. Okay, so this phrase has always bothered me because a starving artist is really just code for a struggling entrepreneur or a struggling solo entrepreneur. That's all it is. It means the business is not working. And for some reason, this romantic phrase came up, you know, which it, it, it just really bothers me because it makes, it allows you to have a victim mentality to think that, you know, oh, this industry is just so hard and, uh, you know, this is just how it is. I'm a starving artist. I'm a starving artist. No, like there should be no romance to that. Your content is not resonating with people or there's something wrong. El there's something else wrong with your business and you've got to pinpoint it. It's, there's something wrong with the way you're thinking about your business. It's on you. You got to take personal responsibility for it, okay? And I'll tell you why, because I hear, I have talked to so many people who said, I'm a starving artist, I'm a starving artist. And I said, okay, yeah, but you really, do you really want to make more sales? Yes, I would love to. I would love to. Like I can barely, you know, pay my bills. And so I say, okay, tell me what you're doing. And as I start digging into the business, I start finding out that they're doing all sorts of things wrong right? And, and so they're not a starving artist. They're just not running the business well. And they all just, you know, sort of like absorbed this, I'm a starving artist. And then they, they don't think that they have to do anything. They don't think that they've been doing anything wrong. They don't think that they think they've been running their perfect little business. And, you know, it, the problem is out there. It's not in here. Okay. It's not the way that they're thinking about the business and the questions they're asking themselves about their business. So that's why I don't like it because anything, you know, as an entrepreneur that gets in your head, that tells you to stop doing something that makes you think that you're a victim is absolute poison. Okay. Let's get this straight. There are struggling entrepreneurs in every single industry, right? Struggling startups. There are struggling chefs. There are struggling uh, house cleaners, there are struggling jewelers, there are struggling dressmakers. Every startup is hard. Not every industry has a romantic phrase. In fact, I don't know why, but the art industry has, you know, this starving artist where it's like, hey, let me just perpetuate my failing business forever. Look, if you don't care about making sales and selling your art, this conversation is not for you because obviously I'm here. It is in my interest to help photographers and artists to grow their businesses and to make more sales. So if that's not for you, it's not for you. I get it. You want to be romantic about it. Paint whatever you want, no matter if anybody cares, that's fine. But for the rest of you who actually want to do something, the thing that you have to do is sit back and analyze and go, what is going wrong with my business? Where is it? What is it, right? Is it is my content not resonating? Am I not generating enough leads in order to get sales? Which part is it? Okay. So oftentimes I hear people already trying to give up because they're getting like 50 to hundred people to their website and they're like, nobody's buying. And I go, this is nobody. Like if you don't have a thousand visitors to your website in a given month, every month, nobody's seeing your art and you're, you're nowhere yet. All you have to do is just get more people in. That's the only thing you need to focus on because you're only going to have a one per one to 2% conversion rate. And that's if you have a proper art gallery website with all the features, you're going to get the maximum conversion rate. So let's do the math on that. If you have a hundred visitors a month, one to 2% would mean you get one or two sales. Okay. If you have a thousand visitors a month, you will get 10 to 20 sales. So take your average price or average sale price and multiply it by let's call it 15. And that's what you'll get when you have a thousand visitors a month, see what that number is, right? You'll start to realize that, Whoa, I need to get way more traffic. I need to get way more eyeballs on my work. And so you either have a content problem or you've got a marketing problem. It's one or the other, but you, what you have to do is you have to analyze what it is that's wrong and take personal responsibility and realize that it's on you. And it's, it's about the decisions that you've made and what you're making right now and the way that you've thought about your business. And that's the reason why it's not making money. You simply have a broken startup. So while you might call yourself a starving artist, another startup in another industry just says, man, my startup's underwater. Like I'm failing. I might have to shut this thing down. You know, it's, it's exactly the same thing. So, but I feel like the, the other, you know, startup entrepreneurs is thinking like, wow, I gotta, I gotta work on something. I gotta do something different. I gotta try something different. I gotta do something, you know, different this weekend or tomorrow in order to figure out and iterate past my problem. 
You know, so that's the way that you've got to be. And if you do that, I'm confident that you're ultimately going to find the answer. Ask some mentors, get some mentors, ask people for advice. This is what startup companies do. You can't do it all by yourself. Figure out exactly what the problem is and start making those changes.